Oh, what's up, everybody? Um, happy Tuesday, right? Yeah, happy Tuesday. <laughs> oh, it is hot as hell. It is hot as hell. Um, anyway, I hope all of you are having a great day. Um, and before I get into this GH video, I have to tell you, I just like literally just tweeted Ron and Frank on Twitter. I just tweeted them. I'm not going to tell you what the tweet said. If you follow me on Twitter, go on Twitter and read what I tweeted them. Um, <laughs> I just kept it simple and plain. I, could, I, I kept the tweet simple and plain. And hopefully they get the message because it speaks volumes. Anyway, let me get into this GH episode today. Where do I start? Luke and Tracy, I start with them. So they're sitting at the Hornet Star. And, you know, they're talking about the medical issue with Luke. And some guy comes in, a messenger comes in with a gift basket or whatever and a dvd that says play me on it so the guy's waiting for a tip or whatever please anybody got no tip for you um so tracy automatically thinks that the dvd came from franco which was kind of odd because i'm thinking in my head franco doesn't even know luke and luke said that he only met franco once for like 10 minutes so why would he know anything about his health so they played the dvd helena Cassidy. of course i guess she made this dvd before she died or whatever because she felt she knew luke was going to get the better of her so she made the dvd to let him know she was the one that poisoned him which didn't surprise me so she poisoned him because of the earring that he wear. She she had when he was unconscious, she had a bodyguard, one of her men switch his earring with a poisonous one. So she told him if he's smart, he'll figure out the antidote to save his life. And she said he's not going to find it at the hospital. Luke is, uh, Tracy is such a hideous. I mean, Helena is such a hideous bitch. I love her, though, because she bring good drama to the show. Oh, I'm sweating like a hoe in church. I'm telling you. Um, so anyway, enough about that. Um, Nicholas, I don't like Nicholas Cassidy. I like him, but I don't like him um, because it's like he's he's such a hypocrite. So him and Alexis are talking. They start talking about the AJ situation. And then they start talking about her and Sean. Here's my problem with Nicholas. He judged Sean and assumed things about Sean without even knowing Sean. Like he just recently met Sean. He doesn't know anything about him, but yet he's, you know, thinking, you know, Sean's this bad guy. And he's telling Alexis, do she really want to take a chance with her daughter, you know, with Molly's life or whatever like that? If Sean turns out to be the new hitman for Sonny or whatever. And he tells her, you know, Alexis brings up the fact that she ran over Kiefer. So Alexis brings up the fact that she ran over Kiefer. And Nicholas is making excuses for it, telling her, oh, it wasn't her fault. She was bringing her hurt daughter to the hospital. Of course, Nicholas is making up excuses for Alexis. What she did was still wrong and it was still considered murder. It wasn't no damn accident. If it was an accident, why not stop? Why not see whoever you hit was okay? Why not call 911? That, to me, is a hit and run. I consider that murder. I'm just saying. She is such a hypocrite. I cannot stand Alexis. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Um. So... Here's my problem with Franco and Ava. I feel like they're getting the most screen time on this show and they're taking up all the story and everybody else is getting a short amount of time with their storyline it's like ava and franco are taking over the story and the time and it's fucked up it's like they take over a majority of this show with their boring ass dialogue because they're really talking about the same shit 
like this long dialogue that they got. Ava and Franco keep talking about the same shit about him being this crazy artist trying to keep him away from Kiki. <sighs> so boring. So they anyway, they kiss or whatever. Obviously, she still got a thing for Franco. I really don't care. They just bore me like I'm just bored with them. I could take Franco in small doses, but today with them, their scenes was just boring to me. So, um, so anyway, Carly is with Sean at the Metro Court and they found the bullet. They're happy. Sean thinks that they're innocent. I'm like, first of all, yeah, you you didn't shoot Olivia, but that don't make you and Carly innocent. Y'all still, Carly still ordered a hit and you still basically carried it out. You still pulled the trigger. It don't matter if you ain't hit nothing or not. Y'all still not innocent. Um, Y'all innocent of an attempted murder, yes, but y'all not innocent otherwise. Um, and I don't think that's going to have an effect on Alexis at all is when Sean is concerned. So Sean told Carly he would go to the hospital or whatever and talk to Sonny about it. And it's better that they talk without Carly. And Carly said, well, eventually she wants to talk to Sonny. So anyway, Elizabeth and AJ are talking about the the taped conversation and Carly walks in and Elizabeth calls her a slut. I was like, OK, hold the phone. Elizabeth should be the last person calling anybody a slut because if I remember correctly, not only did you try and take Jason away from Sam, who he was married to, you cheated on Lucky with his own brother. So if Carly's a slut, you're a bigger slut, even though Carly slept with her mother's husband. But still, slut is a slut. Um. Anyway. Ah, Whew, had to get that sweat off. Um. Anyway, Elizabeth ain't got no right calling nobody no slut because she's a slut too. So you ain't got no right to be calling nobody that. Here's my thing. It's true. AJ and, El and, and Elizabeth were broken up at the time he slept with Carly. That's true. That's true. But. He still should have told Elizabeth he slept with Carly that night. He still should have told her. Why cover it up and hide it if it wasn't that big of a deal? Why hide it? You should have told her the truth. She probably would have forgave you in time, but she would have forgave you. Why cover it up? That makes you look guilty. He keeps saying the reason why he didn't tell her at first was because he didn't want to hurt her. But by you covering up and lying and her finding out the way that she did is going to hurt her anyway. So I think overall, though, Elizabeth did overreact and everything Carly said to her was true. You played a part in it, too. So don't try to put the blame all on AJ because it's really not all on AJ, even though he should have told you the truth. But you had a hand in that shit, too, because she was gawking over Nicholas A since he came back to town. But she wasn't honest about her feelings. And she got mad at AJ just because he threw her a fear with Nicholas in her face. I'm like, okay, he wasn't throwing it in your face. He was just stating a fact. That's all he was doing. So it is what it is. But I do believe Liz most likely will forgive him. Um, I really don't care about their relationship, to be quite honest. And Carly told him she don't give a damn about AJ either. So anyway, Connie and Olivia are talking or whatever. Olivia is anxious to get out of the hospital room, which I don't blame her. Sonny comes in. They're talking and stuff, and he tells her he got something to tell her about the shooting. So Sean comes in and tells Sonny that he couldn't have been the shooter because he found his bullet. Sonny wanted to know, was he 100 percent sure? And Sean said, yeah. So Sonny goes back into the room. Connie, before he goes back in, Connie and Olivia are discussing whether or not they think Sonny's involved. Olivia feel like Sonny is lying. That even if he was involved or whatever, she I could tell she don't really care, but she wasn't trying to save him or nothing. Um, she wasn't trying to take the bullet for him. She was just trying to warn him. So I can understand that. Um, 
it's obvious though that Olivia and Connie are definitely going to get into it about Sonny because it's obvious both of them still got feelings for Sonny. It's obvious. And I think Sonny got feelings for the both of them. So Sonny tells them that whoever that he's going to find out who pulled the trigger, he's going to make them pay. And of course, we all know it was Ava Jerome. So we know that much. Um, but yeah, today's episode, I wasn't really feeling it. Not at, not really. Um, I could have cared less. I just feel like Franco and Ava are just taking up way too much camera time on this fucking show. And it's annoying. All the other storylines either get pushed to the side for like two weeks or put on the back burner for good. And that's a problem. So I advise you to read my tweet that I tweeted to them and tell me what you think. I might tweet them more. I don't know. But anyway, if I'm forgetting anybody in this video or in this episode, let me know. Um, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Have a great day. Try to bear this heat, but have a great day. I'll see all of you tomorrow.